And when I talk about red flags in women, I would never even entertain a fat chick. Who asked him this? Anyone? Anyone here? No? No one gives a fuck? Okay. You know, I would never even like kiss. I don't know, I think it would be a pretty alpha thing to do to, you know, dive into the ocean and kiss a whale. You're talking about a blue whale, a humpback whale, a killer whale. Not a sperm whale though, because that's pretty beta, right? You know, you've got more than enough sperm yourself, you big alpha dog. I would still like rather jerk off than be with like some fucking blimp. No, you don't understand. This is incredibly important, vital information that the internet must know. It's like lowering your standard where you're just fucking fucking anything. Well, it isn't anything because it's still a person we're talking about, you know, with thoughts, feelings, emotions that you've just compared to a sea creature and an airship. And it just encourages women like that to like not change. So women should change to your liking and approval. Changing who you are for the approval of others isn't the best route to go down. If you want to make changes in your life, do it for yourself. That's what will stick. The only reason these beasts can get in the comments and talk garbage is because you guys will still fuck them. Is it possible also that they're in comment sections spouting garbage, regardless of whether another man wants to have sex with them or not? I'm curious, is there a correlation between stating your dating preferences publicly and having an uncontrolled urge to insult the groups of people that you don't want to date. Why do we care? Who gives a shit? These guys always talk down to the people that choose to follow them as well. The only reason these beasts are in the comments is because you dweebs still want to have sex with them. That's why I believe none of these guys have any interest in helping men. They're only interested in helping themselves while standing on the backs of men that are struggling.